Hello and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. My name's Vicky, I'm a mum of three boys and this is our weekly shop. So my boys are very nearly 13, 16 and very nearly 18. So they eat a lot, which is why my weekly shop is always huge. So I will take through everything I've bought at the end. I'll let you know how much I spent and I will also run through next week's meal plan in case anyone's interested. And then all the meals I make will be in a video uploaded very soon where I do like a meals of the week. So I've got some seedless red grapes. These are actually really tiny ones. So um, iceberg lettuce. I've got two lots of pink lady apples. They were on like the super six deal. I think they're usually £2.50 now, but they were £1.69. So I've got 12 of those and a cucumber. Two lots of wonky mixed peppers. So you get four peppers in each and these are £1.45. Got some white potatoes for some mash that I'm making and I've got some spring onions. I've also got some of this unsmoked back bacon rashers. It says they do smoked or unsmoked, but they don't seem to have had the smoked one in for a few weeks. But you, I think this is £4.49 £4 and you get like a kilo. So what I tend to do is like half it, freeze half and then use half for like bacon sandwiches for the boys at the weekend. Two lots of Spanish chorizo. I'm going to do a chicken and chorizo salad. Some British roast chicken slices. Little pepperoni or fake pepperoni mini things. These are £2.19 now I think. And I got some of the... British oak smoked ham. I think this is £2.19 and you get 14 slices. I've got some more strawberry jelly to make up in the little pots because me and one of my boys really like that. I also got some of this buffalo barbecue seasoning. It says it's a marinade seasoning, butter powder and dried garlic. We love anything buffalo. These were 49p. Thought that might make a really nice meal. If we could do like buffalo chicken or like buffalo pulled pork would be good. Got some rice as usual, but I saw they had this one. So this is called Good Grains. It says smoky Mexican style grains, rich blend of pearl barley, whole grain brown rice, red rice, quinoa infused with red pepper and chipotle seasoning. And I think that was 75p, but I thought that sounded really good. So I've got two of those, two of the special Mexican rice, they're 65p. Two of the classic whole grain, these are all the microwavable ones by the way. These were 45p and I also got a spice infusion couscous because I haven't had that for ages and there's a really nice couscous and roasted sprout recipe. <laughs> Don't come at me, I love my roasted sprouts um, and they go really well in the salad so I might do that at some point. Got some pasta and some long grain rice, a double pepperoni pizza and one of the Carlos takeaway meat feast pizzas. I've actually got some that we got in Lidl reduced as well in the freezer some of their spicy chicken ones so we can have like a pizza night we've got some milk that looks like it's been kicked around the shop i'm pretty sure it didn't look like that when i picked it up so that's my doing two of the oat milks and i got some coleslaw to go with the pizzas some cheese singles for some fish burgers i'm doing like fillet of fish style things I got some of the half fat mature cheddar because I don't normally go for half fat cheeses. I don't find the flavour is all that good. But I have tried the little one recently and it's actually really, really nice. So I thought I'd try this one. Because we try and keep our protein levels quite high. I've seen like eat lean cheese, which is like a high protein cheese. Little are now doing their own version of a high protein cheese. But when I compared the packets, it's actually the same fat calories and protein as is in their half fat cheddar but the half fat cheddar is about half the price so craft the advertising there just make sure you check your labels because there's no need to buy something that says high protein when cheese is naturally high protein anyway just so I <laughs> get off my soapbox now and stop I've got some baby bell light cheese 10 of these for 2.29 I think these are another high protein food if you are watching your protein intake. Some lighter cheese triangles, I think these were £1.19. Some split pot yogurts, so, so what have we got? Banana choco and vanilla, banana choco flakes and vanilla choco balls. Six of these are £2.25. Cottage cheese is 79p. The meadow flour light butter made with buttermilk, which is basically the same ingredients as clover light, and I think this is like £1.49 now. We've got some tiger rolls for packed lunches, they're 99p for four. Some chocolate chip brioche rolls just to stick in the cupboard. We've got two steak bakes, these are £1.15 for two, and they just make a nice lunch at the weekend for the boys. And I've got some of the Subway Dupe Cheese and Herb Metro rolls, these are really, really good. 
I've got some of the protein yogurts. These are 25 grams of protein per pot. They are 75p, so I got strawberry and salted caramel. But if you have a Lidl and you do want high protein yogurts, they've started doing coconut flavour. And if you know me, coconut is my absolute favourite. I thought I'd get one out of the fridge to show you. So they're these ones, the Milbona. They're only 20 grams of protein, whereas these are 25. I think they're the same price, 75p, but it's coconut. And if you like coconut, these are so, so nice. So, yeah, if you've got a Lidl, worth looking out for those. I got some pickled gherkins. These are now £1.19 a jar. Too lighter than light mayo because sometimes they have it in and then they won't have it for a few weeks. So I think that's 85p or something. So I've got two of those. And one tomato ketchup because they had ketchup in and you probably know that ketchup seems to be quite short lately in supermarkets. Apparently these are amazing with or without milk according to my 12 year old. So I've got some more of those. We've got some crisps over the back here. So I've got multi-grain waves and two lots of the ridged crisps. The ridged are 105 for six and the multigrain waves I think are like £1.20, somewhere around that. And then I've got some pickled onion fish and chips. These are 99p for six, but they're only tiny. Tin of baked beans, I think they're 45p now. Some tuna chunks in brine, four of those, which is good. Some harvest morn crunchy granola bars. So I got the oats and dark chocolate and the maple syrup. Then I got some gold bars, these are £1.25 for seven. The caramel wackos, you get nine in there and they are £1.19. And I think the groovy biscuits are also £1.19 and you get six of those. And some sweets for the boys, they're just like little pim like mal and pimbles. I think these are £1.25. Some chocolate, what are they called? Pop tarts, <laughs> I can think of the name then, or pop tart fakes. I think these are 179 which is quite a lot cheaper than the actual original American ones. And I also got some strawberry yogurt and fruit bars. Got some of these ice creams. You get four salted caramel ice creams and they are £1.49. But they're also doing these new um, popcorn toffee ice creams. So I thought because they're new, it's my job to show them to you really, isn't it? So <laughs> I thought they looked really good as well. It says popcorn flavour ice cream with toffee sauce coated with milk chocolate and crunchy popcorn topping. And again, 150 or 149 for four. They had quite a lot of new products. Um, I, I'm on a bit of a candle ban because I've got quite a few for my birthday. And also my mum gave me a Yankee one the other day. So I'm not buying any more candles. But if you like the, is it sand and fog? The sand, I think it's sand and fog candles that you can get in TK Maxx. They're now doing very, very similar ones to those for 5 99 in Aldi, obviously. Um, which is a lot cheaper than... You can get them in TK Maxx and they look, they've got like the wooden lid and they smell really good as well. But like I said, I'm not buying any candles, but if you want some, Aldi have a really good range at the moment. Two packs of salt and vinegar rice cakes, a double strength, what is it, summer fruit squash, which is actually sticky and all over my white t-shirt I'm wearing. So that's a bit of a shame. Um, I didn't realise I was carrying it against my chest and I now have pink all over me. I got some tortilla wraps, so I got some eight seeded and eight plain. These are 99p. And then I bought Steve some of this coffee stout the other day. It's really, really nice. If you like strong coffee and really deep dark stout, then I recommend this one. Speaking of stouts and ales, we went to a pub in Whitspool at the weekend and had a coconut pale ale. And it was, I think it was like 8.2% or something. It was so nice. It's literally my favourite drink ever now, I've decided. Yeah, it was really, really good. So I would love to be able to get that in a can or a bottle. I think they may have done it to take away. I should have got some. But anyway, um, it was also £9 a pint, which if you go to pubs and that, I know pints are getting expensive now, but £9 a pint is quite a lot. But it was really good. It was worth it. Anyway, I got those for Steve. And then I decided to try this. The Hop Foundry Pale Ale. And this is a watermelon one. I thought that sounded really nice. Again, I think this is about 169 And then I thought, seeing as he's got two, I need two. <laughs> so, no, I'll share this with him. So, I just got a bottle of Sauvignon Blanc. Um, a South African one. Then I got some Almac Coconut Crush. This is actually a really good laundry liquid. It gets everything really clean and I just make sure to use a decent softener like um, Outdoorables or something. It smells really good. Usual teenage sun kind of bits. I've got a razor. I'm not sure what this one's going to be like but um, it was like 3 dollars I think. And then I got some shave gel. 
and a deodorant that deodorant was 1.99 and it looks tiny but anyway some of my favorite hand wash apparently this is a dupe for the molten brown rhubarb and rose and it smells amazing i've had it for a few years now and i absolutely love it washing up liquid two lots of free range eggs cotton buds for cleaning my new ear piercing because yeah i have to keep it clean until it heals and then some and then these are like 39p i didn't know they would be so cheap uh, i mean i know there's not a lot to them but 39p seems ridiculous anyway and then i got some toilet rolls which are 749 for 24 and they're really really good they're really nice and thick and they smell nice so yeah i really recommend those so that is everything i bought i spent just over 130 pound it was like 130 pound and like 45p or something so for next week's meal plan i've got it written down here um, you can read it or excuse my handwriting. So tonight we are having sausage, mash, peas and gravy. I'm going to do a chicken and chorizo salad. Then I'm going to do some pizzas with wedges and salad. We're going to be having fajita beef loaded flatbreads. So I'm literally going to get a flatbread, get some beef mince, which I've got in the freezer. Um, add some peppers, some fajita seasoning. I'm going to put some salsa on the flatbreads, put the fajita mix on the top, like the mince fajita mix. Put some cheese on that and then that's going in the oven. Um, fish in buns, I've got lots of odds and ends of battered fish and I've got some rolls in the freezer so I'll just do that like filet of fish with tartar sauce and cheese slices. Chinese potato and pea curry, that'll be like the Mayflower one. And then I'm going to do a bulgogi steak. Again I have the steak already in the freezer. Um, with some egg fried rice. So I do get most of my meat from muscle food, so that's why this is mainly meat free. I suppose I should probably point that out. And um, this isn't sponsored, I have worked with them in the past, but I'm not currently working with them. I do really, really rate muscle food. They deliver direct to your door. They're really good value. Um, I think if you enter my name, if you just put Victoria Folger, if you do want to order from them, I think you get like 10% off or five or five pound off your first order, something like that. Um, well, I'll leave that link down below if you need it. But yeah, I really rate their steak and it only works out about £2 something a piece and it's never gristly or chewy, it's always tender. Use their chicken all the time, use their pork mince all the time. Um, yeah, so not an ad for muscle food, although it sounds like it. They should be paying me for this video, but they're not. So yeah, that is it for this week. Like I said, all these meals will be appearing in a Meals of the Week video. I've also got another Make Ahead meal prep video coming up very very soon as well so if you're not already subscribed i'd love to have you stick around and please hit that like button and i'll be back really really soon with another video take care guys did you make it did you break free did you manage to be who you want to be maybe somewhere you think about me too